Hey yo, E King Fight News and Danny Jacobs will weigh in tonight when he squares off against Sergey Dragonchenko for the IBF Middleweight Championship. Will the title land on the zone? E King Fight News. We got more on this. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to the undercard. This is one of HBO's last fights. And we, and we got a women's fight. Heather Hardy versus Shelly Vincent. Um, that's supposed to be a title fight uh, for, for the ladies. So, hey, uh, more power to them. You know, I, I heard the first fight was a straight war. So hopefully they come through. But let's get it, man. Let's see what's going on at these press conferences. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the historic Madison Square Garden. It's an honor to be here for a great card, three world championship fights, and a huge main event, and such an important fight for the middleweight division. It's going to be a war of attrition. You know, these are two men that come forward, warriors, heart of lions. They're going to go out there, and they're going to rumble. Daniel Jacobs. Thanks for accepting this fight, for agreeing to fight with me. It's going to be a big war, and the belt will be with me. So to see these guys on the opposite side of the ring come fight night, it's going to be bittersweet. We all knew each other for a very, very long time, so it's almost as if we're like family. But this is why we do it, for the love of the sport. It's going to be a great, great night of boxing, and these are the kind of nights that we really live for. Every fighter has a great story, and on Saturday night, you get your chance for glory. All right, real shit. Real shit. Okay, HBO. One of the last fights, I'll say it again, because, uh, you know, as we all know, they're leaving the sport of boxing. I think I think Dimitri Bivol, I think they picked up a Bivol fight, so I believe that will be the last HBO date you see in 2018. It was supposed to be this one. But hey, uh, we'll see how it all plays out, man. So let's get into it, let's break it all down. Y'all know what it is. All right, so when it comes to Danny Jacobs, man, I mean, we, we saw the Suleki fight, we saw the Cuba Arias fight. I mean, good fights. Jacobs did well, he, he styled on Cuba, but that Suleki dude gave him problems. He stayed in the pocket with him. He, uh, he was banging with him, man. He, he had a lot of volume. He had a good work rate. And Danny Jacobs, in my opinion, took him lightly. And he didn't really show his class in that matchup. A, a fight closer than it should have been. Danny Jacobs got the victory nonetheless. But, but when we're talking about this kid Derevichenko, you know, virtual unknown. Virtual unknown, right? How many, how many Sergey Dravinchenko fights have you seen? I know I haven't seen a whole lot, but <clears throat> the kid Dravinchenko, man. What we do know about him is Triple G didn't want, didn't want no parts of this dude. Triple G wanted no parts of this guy. He was his mandatory for damn near a year. At least six months he was mandatory. And, and he got no smoke from Triple G. What does that tell you? What does that tell you guys? I mean... And, but, but, but the... The caveat is both these guys have sparred each other before. Danny Jacobs has sparred with, with the kid Derevinchenko. So, how is that? going to affect the fight? Well, they're going to be familiar. They're going to be familiar just a bit with how, how they fight, and it depends, man. I'm, I'm just going to assume that uh, Driven Chico's coming in here to try and outbox Daniel Jacobs. 
try and beat him from the outside. Um, and I see Daniel Jacobs. I believe he's got the reach advantage. And, and Jacobs can box a little bit. So, ultimately, I have to go with class here. Because I haven't seen a lot of Driven Chinko. And Danny Jacobs arguably beat Triple G. Danny Jacobs um, has been getting the runaround from Canelo Alvarez. Danny Jacobs might have to chase Canelo Alvarez uh, onto the zone if he gets his victory. But Danny Jacobs' sole loss uh, before the Triple G fight was by a cat named Dmitry Pirog, where he got knocked out on an uppercut shot. Now, I, I don't know if this guy, uh, Sergey, got the power that, that, that Pirog really, really dropped on Jacobs. So I don't see that shocking finish happening. And, and Jacobs has been through a heck of a lot since that time. Um, he beat cancer and whatnot. Um, But I just gotta go with class here. I gotta go with class. I think Danny Jacobs is a more experienced pro. I think um, he's he's, the, he's gonna be the harder puncher. And the the kid Derevinchenko is gonna have to walk through some real fucking shots and and give Danny Jacobs that work. If he's not going to be able to do that, then I think it's a wrap for the kid, man. So ultimately, if I had to edge out a fighter, I'd pick Dave Jacobs to win. Uh, most likely, I think he'll win a decision. But that's my pick. E-Kings Fight News. You already know, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get it, man. Oh, by the way, who you're picking? Who you picking for the fight, man? And who you got in the undercard, man? Heather Hardy. I think everyone's picking Heather Hardy, man. Everyone feels sorry for her. <laughs> for real. Like, everyone's just like, yo. You don't have to go over to Bellator. Get your ass whooped like that, man. You don't have to do that. But it is what it is. But yeah, man, Dave Jacobs, he's a good fighter, man. I can't take that away from uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I, I haven't seen too much of this kid, Dervinchenko. If anybody uh, wants me to break down some footage, let me know what fight, what, 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 what uh, great fights Dervinchenko's been in, because I haven't seen any of them. E King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think, and we're out. That's what. That's what up. out here man it's like about seven degrees eight degrees Thank <laughs> you.